Somebody tried to kill me today, Ma. You need to tell me everything that you've been up to right now. Power episode eight trailer breakdown, ladies and gentlemen, where we slow this thing down and see if we can all come together with clues. Episode seven was pretty good. Paz was not the one we wanted to see come back and help out in this story, but hey, she might have a long-term role somewhere down the way and possibly helping out Tasha. I guess we'll check this trailer out to see if there's going to be any truth in it. If you're finding me for the first time, please subscribe to this channel. This is the Lamont Tyson Life Games channel. Be sure to follow me on Instagram. I'm trying to get those Instagram numbers up. We do go live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday night at 9 p.m. Eastern Time, ladies and gentlemen, where we go nuts. We review Power, we review Shameless, and on Wednesday and Friday night, we kind of do a mix of politics, stocks, helping you guys make those life gains, and whatever's going on in pop culture. It's a real good live show, and we do love it when you guys come in and let us know how you're feeling. Let's watch the rest of the trailer, and then we're going to pick it apart. Should I alert the authority? No, it's not that kind of danger. I can sell this drug dealing family. I gotta know, how does it end? Look, I still feel like there's something that you're hiding. You can't trust anybody, not with the truth. I'm seeing this whole thing wrong. When I find you, you're dead. First thing we see, Reek is on the phone with his mama, basically saying someone is trying to kill him. Who could that be, ladies and gentlemen? I think the easiest thought would be Kane is trying to kill Reek. Reek looks a little flustered, man. Um, you see him right here. I mean, he looks bothered. And we know Reek can be cold, calculated, and uh, he ain't scared to kill nobody. So it just makes you wonder who's after him. And you see his mom just really wanting him to chill out. And then as they're talking, they go through a bunch of clips really, really fast. And I broke them down for you guys. So the first one we see is Zeke dunking on somebody. I one time said he was going to hurt himself somehow, but I now think someone is going to hurt Zeke, and we'll talk about that later. Then we see Tariq on the ground. Someone is on top of him. Is this a white person, ladies and gentlemen? Look at that. Look at that skin color. It looks white. They, got a, they at least have on a white coat. Look like they got something black on their head. Reek is fighting for his life, and it looks like this is at the gym. Then the next clip, they show Reek laying on his back. And then you see the hand. You see Reek hand and somebody else hand. That looks like a white hand. You guys let me know what you think. Then they cut to Reek trying to hide in the bathroom. Then they cut to Reek running. It looks like he's late to this game because this still looks like the school. And then once he gets in the school, you see him sitting with Monet. You see him standing up at the game looking at something. Now, did Zeke hurt himself? Somehow broke his leg? And then you see Tariq is gone. Something is up, ladies and gentlemen. This is why I don't think it's Kane trying to kill Reek in this episode. Because Kane is sitting there with his family. And Tariq is gone. Very next clip, we see Reek talking to the, the wheel attorney from last season. That's my man Elvin from the Cosby Show. Um, I don't know if Elvin is going to have a huge impact. But probably Tariq is wanting to get some information about what else was going on in that wheel. Um, is there any way he can amend that wheel? And he's obviously letting Elvin know something is up because Elvin is trying to ask him, does he want help from the police? And then we see Reek. It looks like he's pouring out. That's not money. Um, I'm not sure what that is. Those are the pills. Excuse me. Those are the pills he's pouring out from his business. I guess he done got his re-up and he's back on them streets. And here we go with old Professor Plagiarism, Jabari, talking to the guy that does the book distribution. And Homeboy's basically like, man, you need to get this shit finished up. We need an ending. So he slams down his untitled book, Jabari Novel, and Homeboy is just basically telling him, you got to get this thing finished up. We ready to go to publishing. You better make sure that those end chapters are good. Ladies and gentlemen, chapters are probably going to be very, very harsh because something's going to happen to this brother. I'm sorry. He's pussy whipped by Professor Carey and do not say Professor Lock and Key. Everybody get a doorknob turn. And then he's going crazy trying to figure out who's smashing her. So he's in for a ride. And then we see him stalking Tariq. That is Professor Jabari plagiarism, stalking Tariq. 
and you see him standing in the cover in the, in the cut looking around and then you see him that them cut to him talking to Tariq and Tariq saying you can't trust anyone and I think Jabari still is feeling like Zeke is the one smashing I mean excuse me Tariq is the one smashing but I think at some point in time he's going to realize it's definitely not Tariq and it could be this episode then you see Jabari lurking somewhere it looks like a hotel because the next clip you see room numbers man and then you see a turn and he has a piece of paper in his hand and his cell phone and it looks like he done got a hold of some information do y'all think that this pussy whip brother done somehow another clone professor carrie's phone to read her text messages i don't put it past him because the next clip you see him typing on his computer and more than likely that ain't dealing with his paper man and then we go and we see Reek talking to him again. And then we see Diana looking sad. Um, I think she's talking to her brother. And in the very next clip, you see Kane getting the door slammed in his face. And that's definitely Monet and them's house. Because we've seen the same clip where Monet closed the door and Officer Rico Suave's face with this same design on the door. What is going on between them two? We know those two love each other. And we know that they, you know, they they pretty much trust each other, but they look very sad in this situation. Maybe Kane has decided and told her he's going to kill Reek. And then we see Monet with some butterface look on her face. And the next clip, we see Monet and Reek meeting outside. I can only imagine what they're talking about. You guys leave me comments if you have an idea of what they're talking about. Then we see Drew in a skinematic picture beating up somebody could he possibly be beating up his lover and as you see drew is mad at whoever he's beating up he laying down those mike tyson right hooks then they flash back to reek on the floor when he first gets pushed down by whoever's attacking him and the look on his face is one of i can't believe it's you so that would make me not think it's the tahadas to be honest with you but who is it who is attacking Tariq? And then we see them cut to Braden. He's got this I'm scared look on his face. Then we see Reek. And then we see Kane. And Kane's got that bad intentions look on his face. And he's on the phone. I do think that right now he's possibly on the phone with Tariq saying he's going to come get that ass no matter where he's at. And then we see Kane pointing the gun at someone about to come through the door and I think they are still at the gym because this is the same outfit Kane was wearing if we go all the way back and look at them in the crowd at the gym when Tariq left. See, take a look at that outfit. It's the same thing. So ladies and gentlemen, they're going to spend a whole lot of time in this gym and it's look like it's a whole lot of shit about to go down at this gym. Leave me all your comments on what you think is going to happen, on what you think I overlooked, what did I miss, and be sure to follow us Monday, Wednesday, and Friday night, 9 p.m. Eastern, as we go live and we try to keep you guys entertained and give you those life gains. Be sure to follow me on Instagram, and that's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video, comment, subscribe, get yourself that life gain. Until that next sexy as hell video, I'll see you.